Jacket. I think I think it belongs to someone now. Like, they must be missing because uh, I didn't see anybody anywhere. It's raining pretty heavy. Uh, somebody might have drowned. Oh. Hey. Hey. Calm down, son. Where, where did you come from? Right there. Didn't you see me? Here. I'm the detective. Calm down, son. I'm here to help. All right? Yeah. I want you to be at ease before I talk to you. How did you get here so quick? I was investigating another crime scene over there, actually. It's been a very busy night for crimes tonight, you see. All right, let me take a look at this. And I will examine it and see what you were not able to see. You know, you really hate to see stuff like this. Like what? Well, I'm afraid this jacket is soiled with blood that is over three weeks old. The killer's probably halfway across the country by now. I'm sorry, but we don't have much of a case. Well, hold on. I mean, are you sure? Because, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I looked at this. And, I'm uh, telling you it to looks, forget it. Hey, it looks pretty fresh I'm to me. I'm telling you to forget it. I'm the detective. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Good question. Forget this jacket. Forget the whole entire thing. Don't you need that for evidence? The killer's gone. I cannot do anything with this old bloody jacket. Is there any body around? No, Did I didn't see, see it. I didn't see a body. I didn't think so. Well, my name's Detective Jonathan. Do you have any more harebrained criminal experiments you'd like me to invest in? Then I'd be happy to help you. But for now, leave me alone, you dolt. Thank you for being so helpful. Something's not right about that guy. I, I think I better go make another phone call. I get out of here too. Police department. Um, I need to inquire about uh, your investigators. I think something suspicious go is going on here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just give me a list of uh, all, all the police officers working tonight. Okay. 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 Uh, Smithy, got it. Got it. Dinkelberg. Okay. What about uh, uh, Detective Johnson? What? No, no, no.
sometimes, sometimes I just think about ending it all. I just don't think I can do it though. My friend, oh, I want you to know, you? I'll always have your back. <laughs> and that will teach you to not cross my path again. So tell me more about what happened to you. That's it, man. That's my story. As soon as he showed up, tried to kill me, I realized he was not a cop. I booked it out of there. That's really interesting. Uh, I, I'd like I, you should write it down in a story or something like that. Maybe like make a book about that. And then you find out some more about that. I oh, don't know. Definitely. Thank you for coming to listen to my story. Sure, no problem, man. Uh, well, I guess I must be going. Okay. Uh, Have a good day. Sure. Hope this ends up in the newspaper. Sure. Well, that's what you say, man. I. I can't be. I must be going. I can't be. Goodbye. No, no, no. <laughs> Channel 5 reporter here, Parker Jones standing in front of a house that belonged to a young man who has been sent into the asylum for the clinically insane this morning. He claimed that a detective tried to kill him last night. However, that detective has been dead for over 20 years. So, this is a really shocking story. We don't know all about it, but we do know that doctors did find him clinically insane. What a sad story, folks.